What's up guys? I got the Deuter Step Out 22 and man, this is an awesome pack. Very light for your daily carry EDC type of needs. This is for the guy that wants to carry, throw a couple of things in their bag and they just wanna step out and have a good time. They're not necessarily worried about a lot of organization. Maybe they're carrying a jacket, your camera, a water bottle, and a couple of snacks for the day. This is the bag for you. Listen, I was racking my brain trying to figure out what kind of skit I could do for this Dwight 22 liter. And nothing really came to mind. Listen, let's run down the specs on this bag. Like the name implies, it's 22 liters. It's actually 18 inches tall, it's 11 inches wide, 11.8 inches wide, and it's 7 point inches in depth in this bag. One thing about Dwitter that I really like is the fact that all their bags are super light. This bag is actually only 1.74 pounds. So the materials that it's made out of is some different kinds of denier polyester in this bag and it makes it really, really light. So for everyday carry, it's almost perfect. So let's run down this bag from the bottom to the top like we usually do. Right here you get a little branding that says Step Out 22. On the top, you get the Deuter brand, and I think it looks pretty cool, this logo with the white and the orange, and it says Deuter. It's pretty minimalistic, and I like it. On the front of the bag, you get some little gear loops, like a daisy chain, where you can attach some carabiners where you want to carry around some extra stuff. Down here at the bottom, Deuter's included a reflective strip, and you can attach a bike light if you're, carrying, if you're riding your bike, and you wanna put your bike light right there, definitely an option. And ever, and ever. They also include on this bag a little slash pocket. Let me show you what I got in here. Today I was carrying my Beats, Power 3s. This pocket is actually kinda of big. I have my hand cream and my Burt's Bees. I can stick my whole hand in this bag, this pocket in the front. So it's pretty large actually. So you can stick a whole bunch of stuff in there. On the side, Deuter doesn't put two water bottle pockets on this bag. Actually, this side has a quick access pocket where I just stuck my sunglasses. I could definitely see you using this side pocket for like some snacks or something for the day. Something really quick that you wanted to throw in there. That's pretty cool. On this side, you do get a water bottle pocket and I just threw in my 27 ounce clean canteen and kind of use these compression straps to hold it in place like if I was running and I didn't want to lose my water bottle. Here's Johnny! On the top, there's actually two grab handles. This first main grab handle is kind of wide. It feels not necessarily chunky, but it's not going anywhere. The stitching on it is really good and I like that. It's not the best grab handle I've ever felt, but it's definitely not the worst. There's no venting on it but the nylon feels sturdy. The second grab handle is just a regular piece of nylon webbing. Really thin, more like if you wanna hang this up on a hook. One thing that Deuter does really well is their shoulder straps, and the foam feels really dense and comfortable on your shoulder. You do get some Deuter branding right here on the shoulder strap, and I like it in this white. It's kind of minimalistic, and it doesn't distract too much from the back. You do get a sternum strap, which is very small, and it's on a rail system. Down here at the bottom, Deuter includes a hip belt, which I don't necessarily use on bags this small, 22 liters, but for the guy that's riding his bike or you're gonna be running with this pack, I can see you using it from stopping the back 
pack from shifting around on your back. This hip belt is removable, so if you don't need it, you can just take it off. These shoulder straps are on like a yoke system. So they don't actually end at the, the main section of the bag, they kind of U-shape at the top. So it doesn't irritate the back of your neck when you're wearing the bag. Another thing that Daughter does really well is their air venting on the back of their backpacks. They use the air stripe system and you can see it's a lot of cushioning there. And what that cushioning allows the air to do is to move freely through the um, back of the backpack. So this is like a foam and then it's got mesh covering it. So I think that's a good way to ensure that you get some constant airflow and some ventilation um, between your back and the backpack itself. One thing that I'm not a fan of in this Dwitter pack is the fact that you gotta unbuckle these compression straps on the side to get to the main um, admin section. All the zippers on this bag are YKK, very high quality, I like that. Let's go into this main admin section. Now this bag has clamshells open, so it doesn't give you the full clamshell so you can get into the bag, which some people like and some people don't. What it allows you to do is it keeps your stuff from falling all over the place when you open up the bag. In this main admin section, there's only really one pocket which is a pretty large pocket. You can stick your whole hand down in there and definitely room for some pens, some pencils, some knives, whatever you wanna carry that's pretty small, you can throw it in this pocket. The rest of the admin section is just a big open compartment where I threw my electronic organizer, my Audio-Technica Bluetooth speakers, headphones, not speakers, and my EDC pack that I keep my, um, what do I keep in here? I keep my first aid kit and some wet wipes. Other than that, it's just a big open space. Let's go to the back compartment of this bag. In here is where you can fit a, up to a 15 inch laptop. I don't usually carry a laptop, so I just threw my little document sleeve in here. Now, the laptop sleeve in this bag is not suspended off the bottom, but the bottom is cushioned some, so if you threw your laptop in there, I would be careful about just slamming this bag down, but there is some cushion to protect it. In this back compartment, you could definitely add some more clothes or some more items back here. Even though this is only 22 liters, it's definitely got a lot of space in it. Overall, I think Deuter does an excellent job of their backpacks. They're not a well-known company in the US, but in Germany, they're like a North Face or an Osprey very well known and a lot of people have them. I think it's in time for, you know, the United States to get a hold of Deuter and embrace it because they make some awesome stuff. This bag right here is definitely like a, an EDC light day trip bag and I think that's perfect for some people who want just to throw a couple of items in their bag and grab and go. I definitely like it. I like this style with this black and gray very cool, very slick. Definitely kind of like street a little bit, but I like that. Man, thanks for watching, guys. This has been George Define. I'll see y'all in the next one, man. Peace. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your family and friends. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so, so you never miss out on any of my adventures or reviews. See you next time. Peace.